Yo, what's going on guys? It's Jason here and today we have a brand new toy review for you guys. Do not mind hearing Smackdown playing in the background right now because I'm currently watching here streaming. Anyway, today's review, Beyblade Burst Evolution. Here we go, man. Doom Sizer D3. So here it is. Beyblade Burst Evolution, simple box, you know what you know. Burst Evolution, you got the fantasy scene over here, you got Doom Sizer D3 into its separate pieces. Turn the box around, it shows you a little bit about the stats. Here you go, Switch Strike. You know, it shows you all the pieces individually. So, we're gonna pop this thing open. We're gonna talk about each piece individually and put them together. So, let's get to the booth. Let's get this thing open for you guys, all right? So, we got the pieces, guys, all here. Let's go to the booth and take a look. Let's go. All right, guys. So we are back here at the booth, and we have Doom Sizer D3 on the separate components, and we're gonna run through each of the pieces and talk about them really quick as we go. So here we are, starting off with the energy layer. This is the Doom Sizer D3 energy layer. Now, as with all the other Beyblade Burst Beyblades I have reviewed and will review in the future, especially with the Burst Evolution stuff, the detail work Hasbro's done with these Beyblades are off the chain really cool guys i am digging the detail work on these guys um everything that you've seen on the takara tomi version that were stickers here in the hasbro they are pretty much painted on and i will always praise hasbro for that always praise them because you don't need stickers because when you have stickers those things are gonna peel off whereas with the Paint details, you know, it'll 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 come off during over time, but you know, you will never ever lose the pieces, you know, like the stickers. You'll never lose the stickers. As it was if the Takara told me. But anyway, here we go. Here is the energy layer. Really cool. I love the color combination on here. You got the you got the black over here. You have, you know, you have the clear blue translucent over here. And you have, you know, yellow accents, you got some purple accents over here. And uh, this other half here is all clear, translucent plastic. Um, touch of purple over here. Uh, if you want to turn this thing around, if you want to scan the QR code to this Beyblade, feel free to do so. You want to add this into your app. Uh, go right ahead, pause the video, and do what you may. So that is going to be it for that energy layer. Really cool. And here we are. This is the Forge Disc for the Doom size of D3. This is a two part forge disc. Of course, that being is you got the metal forge disc. And then you have a second ring right over here to add to that extra offense slash defense. So that plays a key factor in this Beyblade. Pretty cool. And here is the performance tip of the Beyblade. This is the TA12. Now, of course, this is an attack type. It does have the same, uh, it does have the grip rubber over here. Pretty much similar to the Genesis Valtriac, like those rubber tips. Uh, pretty much that's what it is. It is pretty neat. So let's put these guys together and see what it looks like. So go ahead, take the performance tip. Go ahead and take the forge disc, like so. Take the energy layer. Get that, turn that to the right, and there you have Doom Sizer D3 all built up. He looks very good. I do love the, I do love how the colors separate. You know, I love the color combination. You know, it definitely splits the colors apart. So, makes that very eloquent. Makes it really nice. I do love it so much. Just look, you know, evens out. The colors evens out. I am very pleased with this. So let's go ahead and take this over to the stadium and give it a test spin and see what we think about this guy and see him in an action. So. Let's go to the stadium and take him for a spin. Let's go. All right, so we are at the stadium right now, the Vortex Super Stadium, and we have Doom Sizer D3, and we are going to be losing our dual threat launcher. So we have him already set up on the right spin. Let's go ahead and spin him up and see what we think. So go ahead and attach him on. He's ready to go. And let's let it rip, guys. Let's go. They didn't really put much spin into that, but just even not putting enough power to my spin, it's still a really cool Beyblade. Just already going for attack, that rubber grip over there. Um, let's go ahead and spin it one more time. 
and see what we think. We put some more power this time. All right, let's go. Three, two, one, let it rip. A lot of power, man. It's already shaking that stadium. So, yeah, really cool attack type. Very high. It's a pretty cool Beyblade. Um, it would be really nice, though, if you could switch up the performance tip. If I bet if you switch up the performance tip, it could, be, it could, it could play a little difference. It could play a big factor into the battle. So, yeah, not bad of a Beyblade, guys. Not bad of a Beyblade. So, um, definitely check your guys' local stores to see for availability. If this Beyblade's out there, this is starting to make its way out to the stores. This is, I believe, the second wave of Switch Strike Beyblades. So be sure to check them out, guys. All right. So that's going to be it for review. Please uh, like this video, share this video. Um, and be sure if you are subscribed to my channel. Thank you guys so much. You guys are the best. And uh, if you are new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button if you're new and hit that notification bell. To see what new videos I'll be uploading. And uh, again. Beyblade. Transformers. Power Rangers. Pro Wrestling. If you're a fan of all that. Be sure to hit me up in this channel. Thank you guys for watching. Please follow me on social media. Uh, all on Facebook. Instagram. Twitter. Everything. All, the, all my handles will be on the description down below. So check it out guys. Peace and love wherever you are around the world. Take care and we will see you later, all right?